The only M's I know are the ones that go sideways around Nurburg Ring. We sent it to the wrong address. I can't work with this mask. Morning, Melissa. We need to really open a branch in London, don't we? Chicken tikka, masala, some more naan, complimentary with some chips. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we should have the car back this Friday. So we're half an hour that way, only to come half an hour this way again. Grab a tea, two teas, and I'm gonna grab dessert. I have to use, like, you know, you do wrestling. Take it off, not put it shoulder. My work at its next level, bro. Driving through the famous Oxford Street. I'm doing this one. What's wrong with this one? Where this one come from? These colors. So I have to chuck them all. So this one, okay. It looks like extra threading hiding there. Can you see there? It's extra wrong. You know the machines make noise so I don't win the other one because if somebody call me so I can hear them so if I have this one on here so I can save one and then I need to use another one after one hour so it's good for me I like it that way bro I like it here what well, is best man. and yet again we're short staffed it's Monday morning it's not what we need to start the week so I'm trying to concentrate as well as talking to you so do excuse me KB4 NS3. You to get a phone. That's ready to go. KB2, good morning. It's me again. Somebody commented that there is actually an M3 motorway. It's from London to Basingstoke. There's an M1, there's an M2, there's an M3, there's an M4, and there's an M5. Who knew? M1, obviously, we all know where that is. M3 is in, um, M3 is that one he's talking about in Basingstoke. M4 is goes from uh, Bristol to London. London yeah. And then the, uh, hang on, let's start again. M1, that's the one, the main one that everybody knows. M2 is in Scotland somewhere. Uh, the M3 is the one in Basingstoke. And then the M4 is uh, the one that goes from Bristol, London. And the M5 is the BMW outside. The only M's I know are the ones that go sideways around Nurburg Ring. That's 60 squares, 140 wide, don't it? We just pull that out and just check the width on it. Just one second, yeah? They always give me the hard rolls. Why do I always give the, get the hard rolls? That's more than 60 wide. A quick test. Don't try this at home. It's very dangerous. I'm gonna check if this fabric has got any polyester in it at all. So it's gone to carbon. That fabric's got 100% cotton in it. You want to see a plastic uh, polyester one? For sure, your polycon. You see, going smoking black. That's polyester. It's plastic. You can feel it. It's melted. Simple, effective test. We sell compression springs. If you want one, give us a call. KBT. So I wear the mask because uh, every time I cut his, you know, you start coughing. I can't work with this mask. Uh, a lot of people order over the weekend when they're sitting in their houses, chilling out, and they all order. And then Monday morning, because you gotta remember it's, it's Friday's orders, Sunday, Saturday's orders, Sunday's orders and Monday's orders. So you got three days orders to deal with. Let me fix this mask up. And they all come Monday morning and they all want them by Tuesday. I'll give a bit extra here. It's a bit damaged there, but I've given a bit extra. I've got this silly little mask on. That's not making me work at all. Really? 11 o'clock? My goodness. Doesn't time fly when you're having fun? Green Hessian. Ideal for notice boards. There's another design, this is onion design. 
welcome back to KBT Weekly, episode 13. It's absolutely manic here this morning. Everybody's up and down. There's printers packed up on me. Morning, Melissa. I've probably been up and down these stairs about 10 times. It's all go, go, go. Armour, let's head on downstairs. Or I'll take these orders down. I've got to make this printer work. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Where are you going? So we're headed back towards London, back towards Wembley, where we were the week before and the week before that. We need to really open a branch in London, don't we? We need to open a branch in Dubai, branch in London, and a branch in New York or like California. I prefer California. This is not 100 mil Velcro, is it? It actually is. 100 mil Velcro. Loop side is a soft side. Hook side is the hard side. There you go. Sorted. Links to all our products are in the description. Right, let's go to London. I was in London on Saturday, and then I was up north on Sunday. Don't forget to follow my Instagram for behind the scenes of Ferris Weekly, and not KBT Weekly. Ooh, we got GoPro, baby! This pallet is so bent. What is with you boys? Can't you make straight pallets? <laughs> I can't even blame Nappies because he's not even in today. But we just turned up to London. We're back here again, exactly where we were last week and the week before that. It's just gone three o'clock. We're gonna drop this pallet and that pallet there and then we've got a few rolls we've got to drop off. I don't know if you guys remember B, the Hessian shop or, well, it's not a Hessian shop, but she's put Hessian everywhere. We're going back there again, so we're literally reenacting. Was it last week or the week before? It's like deja vu. But it's triple deja vu at this place because we were here Monday last week, the week before that, and we're back again today. So Monday seems to be trending as London Day. I'm not sure how we're going to get this pallet out of armor. Maybe we take that one first. Left, left. Huh? Left, left. Where you want to put it? Yeah. I have no oh. idea. Whatever you feel like putting it. Slowly, slowly, go slowly. They made a pallet, which is not a pallet. And then I have to remake another pallet that actually is a pallet. Just means more work for me. One second, one second. One second, one second. Go on. Go on. And that's it mate, that's a job well done. Yeah. We just pulled up, we just come to see B. We're just gonna walk around to her because there's some roadworks at the front so we can't actually park there. We found a little side street, just gonna pull the stuff out and go around. We're just back at Bee's place, as you can see, it's a lot more full, as you can see, Bee's bought in her plant pots, the ones she was talking about last time, all covered in hessian, the lampshades, all covered in hessian, yeah, lovely, Bee's an interior designer, if you need uh, any of your mansions redoing, Bee's a woman, I love hessian, how can I not, I live and breathe hessian, my lungs are covered in hessian, from all the hessian that I've been cutting, <laughs> anyway, that's enough waffling. So we've just dropped the stuff off to B and now we're heading back towards the van. We're going to get back in the van and decide what we want to do, whether we'll head back or whether we get some food. But knowing me and Armour, we're definitely going for food. A friend of mine who's based out of London called me earlier, sorry, once his jacket's doing, and here's the man right now on the phone. Yo, Ferris, you okay, bro? What's happening? Um, we've got the back bag ready, but Sherry, we're stuck at Brentwood, one of the vans getting serviced now, isn't it? Okay. We're going to continue. Should I come to the storage yard? Oh, if you can. Oh, I didn't know that was a plan, but if you can, just pop the storage yard, it'd be good. Have you got oh, your video yeah, face I, ready? 
I'll get my makeup on, don't worry. You got your makeup on, yeah? I'm a to get his makeup on. If I, if I have to come all the way to Brentwood, bro, I want 10 minutes off you today. On, no, on camera. Are, bro, I'm not on camera show, man. Nah, bro, if I have to come all the way there, then 10 minutes I want off you. Uh, it's, it's a lot, isn't it? Just tell them 10 minutes how much you love me. You know I got a bit of love for you, bro. Can't we just keep you on the phone, innit, this conversation, innit? Good friend of my cousin, Barry, just called me. Well, he called me earlier, he said, Seeing as you're in London, come and pick these jackets up. He owns a detailing place, car detailing place. He's had some fleeces made for his employees. And where the zip goes up, he wants something to cover the zip. So when the guys are working on the car, the zip doesn't actually scratch the car or anything like that. So just to make sure that they're fully covered. And obviously now the winter months are here, making sure the employees are kept warm and the cars are not being damaged. Major laser situation. So we're just gonna meet up with Nadi at the storage yard, collect the jackets off him, have a little walk around of the yard, and then uh, all is well, we'll head back. We're stuck in a bit of traffic because there's an accident on the M25. So we've taken the, we've taken a shortcut. And let's see if it's fruitful. Again this week, just give me a shot. Sweet, bro. Thanks, I'll see you soon, yeah. No. Thanks, bro. Hello again. Still stuck in traffic. So uh, I just spoke to Noddy because the ETA on the sat nav is just getting longer and longer. So I'd rather just head home. I've seen a junction to the M25. I'm just gonna jump on that. In fact, this is still going towards the storage yard. But we were in central London, and this is all the way. In in Essex, I would have thought the traffic would have died down by now, but it's London for you, isn't it? Yeah. Next, the roundabout, take the first exit to merge onto the M25 west towards the M40. Seems to be roadworks everywhere these days, man. Absolute madness. They don't call the M25 the biggest car park in the world for no reason. Just look at the state at the other side of the hallway. Right, it's just gone nine o'clock. We've just got back to KBT. I'm going home. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Left. Having to uh, give my hand.
Fury, you don't like talking. You don't talk crap. You're not like us. We talk a lot of crap, you see, so. Fury don't talk crap. And that right, Fury? We do more talking and less work. Send it on a roll, no problem. We'll put this on a roll. If we had gaffers here, I'd be sitting in the office. You come tomorrow, I'll be loading the shelf here. Thank you. See you, bye-bye. Bye. We don't just do, uh, we call it here, mail order. You know, you can come in, you can buy stuff over the counter. You know, people can just walk in, you can see some customers just went out. Come in, buy over the counter what you need, have a look at walk around. Take some free samples back with you if you want. We don't mind. It's Tuesday and you join us in the warehouse. We're just heading over towards Hell's Owen to one of our storage sites. We're going to drop a chap off there and then we're going to pick some fabric up from a supplier and then head back here, jump in the van, then we're off to Stoke. Go and see a customer in Stoke. And from there we're going back down south to Watford and somewhere in London. Is that not a metre? No. So why have we got that rolled up for nothing? Because it's uh, less than a metre. Yeah, well, we don't sell half metre headliner, so... You might as well take that, Fury. Yeah. Come on then, let's go. We're wasting time. For. So as you can see, just behind me, we just turned up to Crane Heat Storage. We just come to drop off one of the guys here who's doing a shift swap. Got some staff issues, as always, but nothing that we can't handle. Just got a fillet on the move because we're heading down to Stoke or up to Stoke and then from Stoke we're going to where are we going Armour? Uxbridge back to London I always get extra cheese on my burger and yes that's because I'm fat but not the only reason because if you get extra cheese you always get a fresh burger thank me later Just taking this one out. Armor, pass me them scissors just there. We're gonna have to give Stoke a miss today because we've got two urgent orders going to London. What do you want to talk to you about? You had no faith in me, Armour. So Armour didn't have faith that these four rolls would get into the car. And I've just put it in. How easily did I put it in the Armour? We're not taking the van, we're taking the M3. But I was in the van yesterday, and you know, because I'm a glorified taxi driver, they're giving me a glorified car as well. Right, we've just unloaded the car. We're here in Uxbridge, not too far out from central London. We just dropped off the Hessian here to these guys. They make ornaments and, and things like that for big hotel chains, etc. But uh, we've dropped that off. We're gonna head out. We're gonna go over towards Hertfordshire now. And then once we've done that, we're gonna be free. As always, it's lunchtime. No, I'm joking. We're running late. We're gonna lunch today. Even though I did have that fillet earlier. So that's keeping me going. We find us in a little town called Buntingthorpe. So we've just come to do our second drop. I've literally been in London for the past, I could probably even say a week now. Well, I say I'm in London, I'm not in London. I'm London back to Birmingham, then Birmingham back to London. We really should consider opening a KBT London, Fabric UK London branch. We just finished up the second delivery, we just pulled up the road at the uh, BP. Just come to use the uh, washroom facilities. Thought I could put some fuel in as well, but I guess the crisis is still going on here. I'm not sure what's going on. Birmingham's up so much fuel. I don't know what's happening here. But anyway, I'm just going to head in towards central London. Go and get some food. So is that straight that way or is it straight that way? Let's try this way. We're just driving through the famous Oxford Street. It's an absolutely beautiful road. The way the buildings are lit up at night. What can you say other than it's beautiful? It's nice buildings, you know what I'm saying? We've driven through the whole day and now we're driving through the whole night. So we're just at Farsi Caf. It was recommended by a good friend of mine. We're just gonna head on in, grab some food because we're absolutely starving. Looks nice. We're somewhere by Leicester Square, not too far. It's just up there. And we've parked around the corner. Hopefully I don't get a ticket. We most likely won't let us record in there, but 
Let's have a look at the menu. All right, stars are here. We've got some lamb chops to start with, and then we've got some chicken tea. We've got some raita, we've got some sauces, and we've got our naan bread. I'm gonna dig in now. I'll catch you guys in a little while. Okay, the mains have just turned up. Chicken tikka, masala, some more naan, complimented with some chips. Stars were mediocre, but let's dig into the mains, see how we get on. We had some nice stars, nice mains, some lovely dessert. I had some kheer for dessert. That's rice pudding, if you don't know what that is. I'm just gonna walk back towards the car now. Hopefully it's still there and it hasn't got a ticket on it. Anyway, we'll leave today here. We're just gonna head back towards Birmingham and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Wednesday morning and you join us outside individual specialist cars. We've just come to check up on the Golf, see how things are getting on. I had a call from Afi and Jin earlier on. I liaised with them uh, regarding the car. They said it's nearly complete. The panels are being resprayed. So I says to him, you know, before you put it back together, I'm just gonna come round. So we're just inside the workshop here, individual. Car's just behind me. It looks like the doors have been resprayed. We're more or less there. The boys are gonna put the car back together in the next few days. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we should have the car back this Friday. Just behind me is the driver's door, which has been resprayed. The bumper's off. That's having some work done. As you know, we damaged that uh, some time ago. So we're covering that ourselves. And other than that, everything else looks in order. The car's all wrapped up, nicely put together. Looking like a bit of a transformer at the moment with all the doors and the bumper off. Hopefully, inshallah, as I say, next couple of days, we should have it back and it should be looking in an A1 condition. I mean, I'd love to show you around, but unfortunately, there's a lot of expensive motors here, so we can't really show you around. Uh, the boys have asked us not to really film anywhere. We respect their decision. That's everything from us here at Individual. We're now headed over to Leicester. We've had a crazy start to the week. As you know, we've been in London two days in a row now for work. That's it. Thank you very much. So you know the van was damaged a fair few weeks ago. I've spoken to Afi. I've agreed a price with him to get the dent sorted, to get that panel resprayed. So all is in agreement. So when we pick the Golf up, we're gonna drop the caddy off to get repaired. And we're just gonna do a little swap basically. So we'll take the Golf back and we'll leave the caddy with these guys. Quite simply, that needs to be pushed back in and sorted out. Do not want that to start rusting. That's that sorted. Oh my God. <sighs> but that's everything from us at Individual. We are running late as per usual and we do got three stops to make, so we got to speed it up. We're under pressure. That's where we are. Oi, oi, where's this cold truck? Where you going? Don't crash into me. This was the most important though. Hello? The place I went to is closed and I'm not happy about it because somehow I'm going to get blamed for it. I told the guy to go home. It doesn't look open. Look like everyone, you know? Bro, this ain't even funny, bro. The doors are locked and the shutters are there. So we went to the first collection, he wasn't there. Then we went to the second collection, he wasn't there. Then the first collection phoned me back and said, I am here. Went to pick up the stuff from him. So we left here, went back to location number one. Then location number two, uh, sorry, after number one, we gave up on number two. Then we went to the other side of Leicester to location number three, who was waiting for us, thankfully. Location number two then rang me back and said, oh, we're here now, if you want to come back. So I went half an hour that way, only to come half an hour this way again. Uh, we've now done all three collections and now we're heading out. In one box, yeah, chicken strips and chips. Just had a quick catch up with Zed. I don't know if you guys remember, a fair few vlogs back, he interviewed me on the Leicester radio channel. Just met up with him and Mo here on Evington Road. Discussed a few options of the shops behind us. They're making a nice little seating area upstairs. Me and Zed spoke about various different upholstery jobs. One being upstairs, they're gonna make the bench seating and then we're gonna get Stanley or we're gonna get one of the other upholsterers to come out and actually do the work. There's also a new Shisha lounge that they're opening not too far from here. We're gonna do that as well, hopefully, inshallah. If the price is right for the boys, we're gonna go ahead, but I'm sure we can come to some sort of 
compromise. I'd love to help these boys and I'd love to get involved in a lot of their projects. So hopefully, inshallah, there's plenty of things in the pipeline. But for now, we're just going to head into Chakoberry, pick up my dessert. Hello, you go into Jaiwala, grab a tea, two teas, and I'm going to grab dessert. Thursday morning, join me in my office at my desk. I've had this uh, tax reminder just come through for the van, uh, but it doesn't expire till the end of the month, so I will keep that there just to remind me to make sure I get that taxed so the boys don't get pulled over. Other than that, it's all happening. It's all go, go, go. Back from Leicester last night, late as usual. Oh, uh, Somia dropped these off this morning. They came in the post. Uh, the boys over at Red Rings sent these over to me. Very cool key rings. This one's 2KBT, and this one here is 11KBT. But uh, no big thank you to the boys over at Red Rings. It's a lovely quality metal. You can tell that they're pretty sturdy. Really do appreciate it. Uh, make sure you guys go and check them out. We'll leave a link in the description below to all their details, their Instagram handle, and how you can go about ordering one of these. They're a new company, they're a small business. I always like to try and help. At the end of the day, the boys are doing something with their life. Instead of moaning, complaining, and looking at others, they're getting up off their ass and actually doing something. So a bit of appreciation to all the small businesses. Keep going, guys. I just wanna to quickly touch on this, guys. If you do want your product featured on my channel, get in touch with me on my Instagram, 11kbt. Get in touch with Armour. And uh, listen, we're out here, we, we're supporting, we're, you know, we're up and coming ourselves. We're a small business, the whole media thing is a small business at the moment. So we understand how it feels. We understand the boat that most small businesses, new businesses are in. Alhamdulillah, I've got the backing of my father, of my uncle. I'm able to do what I do without much difficulty. So Alhamdulillah, all praise be to Allah for that. I do know it can be very difficult for small companies to get exposure. And I'm willing to do that for you guys. So do get in touch with me. I hope not a rain though. Everything outside, man. I take them whole off one by one. It's heavy as well, but I have to use like, you know, you do wrestling, pick it up, not put it in the shoulder, bro. <laughs> sometimes you get a heavy job, sometimes you get lighter, so it's okay. Like only one hour here, I'm, may, I'm not tired, but one hour, I have to sweat myself. Then after this whole day, chill. Do the other side work. Before I was doing another company, was working for them, they do, you know, dua, towels, like for the hotels, they come like every day, like easy 80 people was working. So that was the hardest job, all day stand and just smack everything to the places. My work ethics next level, bro. Yeah, all right, mate. Go tell someone who don't know ya. <laughs> Cam, perfect time because it's lunchtime. Get some lunch in, get back here. Normally on a Friday, you catch me on a Friday in the vlogs. But I'm here one day early because I've got a few bits on tomorrow. So being busy, I was in London on the weekend where I did actually bump into Faris. Came down to see me, I was with Trotter's Rulers. Get some content for KBT, Fabric UK. And that's about it. Just had the delivery come. Let it come down all the way. The end of the Right. 
Plenty of here. Back from lunch. I just gotta quickly run over to VW and get some oil for the van. For some strange reason, it's asking for a litre top up. I'm not sure why. Maybe I could ask the service guys there why that is the case. As you know, we've only just bought the van. It's just gone 4,000 miles. It's certainly a cause for concern. Crazy day today. As you can see, Saj is frantically moving everything left and right. We've got a few containers arriving next week. And we've got a little surprise for next week, which literally we planned in the last five minutes. I had a call from my good friend Abid. I'm not gonna tell you what, I'm not gonna tell you where, but something's happening next week. But we'll tell you more about that next week. We've just turned up to Volkswagen Van Center. We've just come to pick up some oil. I got Darren to have a look at it because it's not normal that the van's asking for oil at this early stage. As you know, we've only just had the van delivered not long ago, but uh, it's done 4,000 miles. He reckons it's synthetic oil and it does burn quicker than normal. We'll top it up with another liter of oil and then hopefully that should be the end of that until it's serviced. But if it does come back on, then we know we've got a problem somewhere. Just gonna run into parts, pick up some oil, and hopefully get one of the lads to just top it up with a bit of oil. I just walked into parts and said, can I get a litre of top of oil? And he said, uh, yeah, what's your registration? So I gave him the reg, he had a look. He said, oh, this is a new caddy and these take zero W20 and we haven't got any, we're still waiting for delivery. But Darren has kindly gone into the workshop to ask if they can top it up from the barrel that they've got. They've got a barrel inside, obviously, which they use to service a vehicle. So hopefully they can just top it up for us. Armour wanted to do a cinematic on me pouring oil all over the engine bay and all over myself. But unfortunately, Armour, you're not going to get the opportunity to do that. If you cut me here, uh, pieces of thread will start coming out of me. I'm stitched together. So, Darren's just bought the van back. He's topped it up with another litre of oil. But for some strange reason, the light's still on. If you come in the van, I'll show you. I don't understand why. But it's not a sensor because it was low on oil. The dipstick was showing very low. Or maybe it needs a, maybe we need to drive it and it may reset itself. So as I thought, driving has solved the problem. We've just got back to KBT and the lights gone off. You forgot about the Pepsi. Make sure you put the, the last week's vlog in there when Uncle says he's gonna get me a Pepsi. Give this man a Pepsi. <laughs> Hey. I was born in the Royal Cloth Theatre, that's a different story. That's a story for another day. This one here. Oh, that one looks nice, that does. This is an AirTech sports mesh. It's a sports lining valve. So that's the end of Thursday. We've got Friday coming up tomorrow. But that's it for today. I'm out. Keep watching KBT Weekly. Early age, I used to play around uh, with the computer and everything, and so it just uh, attracted me toward uh, this profession. And uh, yeah, I'm getting very well with that. So the the basic the, the thing is the profession that you like, you can work the most with. So I would say yeah, uh, it's working good for me. Yeah, because uh, I like the subject. I like the the like you know this is a whole new world. IT is a whole new world, so it doesn't get you bored. The more you discover, the more you are uh, getting into it. Not just IT, go to any subject that you are interested in. If you are not interested in the subject, that's going to be just a waste of time. So basically, you know, when you do research, when you do learning, and you are like, you know, you are excited to uh, discover more, find out more, so uh, it just it just um, like you know you, you are embracing it more you're further getting in, in interest in so any subject not related to it any subject if a person uh, is interested in 
that's that's the subject he should take further in his speciality not the one that someone forced him actually some parents do you gotta go to this subject so I, I would suggest no that's not a good idea should read the mind of a, a child as well uh, to see wh what is his in uh, his or her interest yeah. so it's Friday and we have more staff issues both the dispatch guys are not here today it looks like I'm gonna have to do a bit of packing which is not a problem. When staff start here at KBT, especially if you come here for warehouse duties, you will always start with packing. Packing involves you interacting with the fabric more than any other department. You pick something up, you'll read the order and say, oh, this is a calico, or, or this is a headliner, or this is a hessian fabric, or this is a fleece. So you know exactly what you're talking about. So then as you move along the chain, or as you move along and you progress through the company, Somebody says to you, go and fetch that calico or go and fetch that quilted fabric. You can go straight to it. You can say, yeah, I know what that is. The way we operate here at KBT, if we ever have a new employee, and especially if it's that for uh, warehouse duties, he always starts on the packing. Uber fabrics, should we start it? Should we start Uber fabrics? Dialer, dialer fabric. Not dialer shisha, dialer fabric. Fury is Fury. That's how he got the name Fury. It's like when he does talk, it's ferocious. You know, if Fury's quiet, just be glad Fury's quiet. Just making this here, so just to make it like upside down, so to put this one inside, yeah? I lost it, yeah? So you know how I find it back, I have to do it that way. It's for a fire fusing if like, maybe you can use it on kettles, you know? No, sorry. But the, so you can use it for anything, anything like you can make that one for a house as well so like you know if you have kids and you have metal pipes like this size or if it is scared so the kids will get hurt you know hit his head or something you can cover the pipe with this as well we're busy as usual always got staff problems i suppose because we've got so many people working they've all got some issues somewhere along the line you're always going to get flus and coughs and Etc. Etc. So it's part and parcel of uh, employing people. Well, you, you need to have people that you can first of all rely on and cover each other. So we're working as a team, and then that helps. We sent an order somewhere, and um, we sent it to the wrong address. That was 350 miles away. So the chap had to sleep the night over in a hotel, and then pick it up the next morning and then re-deliver again. That's the best thing that's happened this week. Okay. Right, just got back from Juma. I think it's time to go and get some lunch. We're always hungry. That's a kind of being here, look on You know by now, innit? Come on, get in, let's go get some lunch. Just back from lunch, just making a few orders. Not only are the dispatch guys off, Soumya has decided not to turn up today as well. I think she's uh, feeling a bit under the weather. Can't say the same for the dispatch guys, they're just uh, the MIA, AWOL. So I'm just going to jump onto the dispatch once I've done this. The thing is, yeah, this fabric's going to get damaged, man. So right now, guys, I'm just in the middle of packing some marine vinyl. As you can see, it's finished in a brilliant white. Perfect for your bolt seats and things like that. No, sir. This is not good. This will actually get damaged. So what we do, we're gonna have to improvise. So we're gonna use this plastic, which we normally use to wrap the rolls of fabric to make a little bag, like so. Make sure that the fabric is not stretched beyond its capabilities rendering it damaged so like so and just fold the edges over fold the edges over and we do the same for this side like so fold the edge over and fold the edge over and there you go so that's not quite finished because we need to definitely secure it well, my phone's going off hello and have you seen the state of this table 
I need to catch up. I've got literally an hour to finish everything. This I don't need this sort of pressure at the end of the week. Quick product review. Top fabric here is so like what we did in one of the earlier vlogs where we did a waterproof test this is a similar fabric to that shower curtain fabric but it has a tartan design printed on it we do this in various different colors we will leave a link in the description below next on the same order is the lilac colored quilted fabric four ounce box and then obviously Arma's favorite color we saved the best till last nice beautiful baby pink right i think we're gonna leave friday here because armor keeps getting in my way and, I, and he keeps stepping on my toes and I keep stepping on his toes. There's nothing left of his toes. I'm just about surviving because he's a lot lighter than me. That is the end of this week's weekly. Keep supporting, keep sharing. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And we will most definitely see you next week. I'm Faris, that's Armour. This is KBT and you're watching KBT Weekly. We'll see you next week and be sure to look out for next week's vlog because we've got something special lined up for you. KBT Weekly X Sunamusk. We'll see you next week. Peace.